Hello my darlings. Today's tutorial is a little bit different from what I'm normally accustomed to. Today is a very relaxed and easy effortless hairstyle that is perfect on those lazy days when you just want to put your hair up and just get out the door but still look cute. So it's perfect for work or school or going to the gym but the only thing I advise if you're going to the gym do not recreate this hairstyle with hair extensions like I'm going to be doing today. Another great thing about this look is that you can totally create it on short medium or long hair types. My hair is medium length but I personally like to add a little bit more volume to this messy bun by clipping in just a few pieces from my fancy hair extension set. So if you want to recreate this look using clip-in hair extensions of your own, I'm going to show you exactly how I clip them in to make sure that they stay hidden and add a lot of nice volume to your beautiful messy bun. So if you guys want to know how I created this easy, cute looking messy bun, please keep watching. To make my messy bun look more thick and more plush, I'm going to be clipping in four two-clip wefts from my fancy hair extension set. So what I'm doing first is separating my hair at about ear level and clipping away the top section of hair. I'm taking my first two-clip weft and I'm clipping it upside down into my hair. This is going to make sure that the clips lay flat against my head when I pull all of my hair up into a ponytail. Also take note that before I clip in each weft, I'm taking the clip in open position and moving it around in a circular motion against the roots of my hair to create a little nest. This is going to provide some extra texture for the clips to grip onto before I close them. I separated another section of hair just above the first one and I'm doing the exact same thing. After I've clipped in my two bottom wefts, I'm then separating my hair at the top and I'm clipping in the hair extensions in the other direction. This way the wefts that are going to be brought into the ponytail in front of the ponytail are also going to be laying flat against my head. I'm going to repeat this with the last weft that I'm clipping in. Once all of the wefts are clipped into my hair, I'm gathering all of my hair into a high ponytail and making sure that all of the hair around my hairline is nice and smooth. Now since this is a messy bun tutorial, I'm not going to be using a comb to smooth out my hair. I'm just using my fingers to do this and it doesn't have to be perfect. The more undone it is, the more it's going to lend to the whole effortless vibe that we're going for. After I finish smoothing out my hair around my hairline, I'm taking a strong hair elastic and I'm looping my hair through the elastic a couple of times and looping it through very messily to create this messy rough looking bun. I don't really have any rules on creating this messy bun, it just whatever goes at that time. Every time I create it, it turns out slightly different but the things that I do always do is pull out the front part of my hair to make it a little bit more undone and then I also take the bun itself and I fluff it out with my fingers to fan it out. Another thing I always do is leave out some sections of hair around my hairline just to make it a little bit more effortless looking and then if the bun is a little bit cray cray, I like to take some bobby pins and pin it down and move the hair around the bun itself to get the look that I'm going for. So feel free to keep playing around with it until you get the look that you want and then once you've pinned everything in place, you're good to go. All right, my love, so that's all I have for you today. I really hope that you love this messy bun tutorial and will try it out at home. Leave me your comments down below and let me know what you thought about this look. And if you have any suggestions on tutorials that you'd like to see me recreate or any other videos for that matter, please feel free to leave your comments and suggestions down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please be sure to do so to stay up to date on all the latest hair trends, hair tricks, and hair ideas. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Life is too short to have boring hair. Subscribe to my channel for endless hairstyling ideas.